things this minute. I told you, you are not ever to play with those colors. But Mama, oh, eh. I hate the best ball player in the neighborhood. If your daddy catches you, he'll tan your hides and give me all kinds of heck to boot. Your husband would get burnt over this? Man, tell him to get a life. My <laughs> tongue, you little uppity colored brat. I want you people to stay away from my boys, you hear? Oh, ow, ow, Ma. Say what? You people. Miles and I are best friends. We hang out all the time. Well, it ain't natural, I tell you. I suggest you ain't you natural. Alone, the only hanging you'll be doing with them is from a tree. Man, she hates us and she doesn't even know us. What's to know, Miles? Our skin is darker than hers. She thinks we're different. And that's what she hates. Well, if she hates me, I'll hate her back. Own it. What'll that solve? My daddy says hate is rooted in fear. And the only cure for fear and hate is love. We should love someone who hates us? Why? Somebody's got to start the change. Man, things are sure different where we come from. Where's that? The future, dude. The future? The future. Now there's a laugh. Well, you've been reading too many comics. Now that's my pops. I gotta go. I would love to meet Mother the Kin in my life. Hey, Martin. You forgot your... Ago. Three years. Whoa, this is beyond awesome. Pete, this. We're kicking it in this museum and we got completely zapped to time. And we you gotta excuse Randy. He doesn't get out much. So, what you been up to? I spent this past summer in Connecticut picking tobacco to earn money for college. You don't look old enough for college. Well, I'm only 15, but I graduated early. How'd you do that? Well, I bet my older sister, Christine, that if I studied hard, I'd graduate early and go to college with her. Now I'm heading back to Atlanta before school starts. <laughs> I can't wait to rub it in. Ooh, she's gonna be hotter than a foil umpire. Have your tickets ready. Tickets, please. Tickets, have them ready. If you close that curtain, it'll be hot in here. Sorry, son. We're about to cross the Mason-Dixon line, young man. You best move to the other part of the dining car. car. How come? Because this section for colors. But I want to ride with my friends. Suit yourself, then. Zero, so, so. Don't even change out of them silly costumes to ride the train. <laughs> Blacks and whites can't eat together. That's nuts. Negroes and whites don't associate in the South. I can see nothing more urgent. Well, like we say it, it's not like that where we're from. So exactly where's that? Uh, out of town. Way, Way out of town. Mm, something sure smells good. I sure could use some food right about now. I'm starving. Say, why don't you boys come to supper at my house when we hit Atlanta? My mama's home cooking is hot, tasty, and unsegregated. Martin, <laughs> you got unsegregated. I hope you fellas like baked honey chicken and yams. Everything smells great, Mrs. King. Yeah, thanks for having us over. I'm afraid I've never met you two young gentlemen before. We're from out of town, Reverend King. Yeah. Way out of town. They do appear a bit way out at that. Our parents were, uh, detained out of town. So Martin said he'd look after us. Who'd want you to babysit? 
You're nothing but a baby yourself. I'm just practicing for when I have to babysit you at college. <laughs> You're funny, don't you? So, what are your friends going to do while we make our rounds later? They can wait in my room. Rounds? What's that? Shut-in rounds. My dad is a minister, and he visits sick and elderly people who can't leave their homes. A man has no greater purpose in life than to serve his fellow man. I've tried to instill that message into all my children. It may help you, too, someday, when you're back way out wherever. Yes, sir, Reverend King. You can stay here until I finish rounds with Daddy. Help yourself to any of my things. My house is your house. Thanks, Martin. Yeah, thanks, man. Don't you think it's kind of cool that he's always doing good things for other people? Check it out, Miles. Here's all Martin's stuff from his room at the museum. Look, here's his glove. Yeah, and this weird watch. Hey, check this out. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> through my life <laughs> is that one of those new television shows or something no no i mean hey miles did you say 1956 yeah that means hank aaron was an all-star from milwaukee last year that's right it sure feels good to see him and jackie robinson getting some respect what's going on here martin boycott me a negro woman named rosa parks was tired and refused to give up her seat on the back of the bus to a white person they threw her in jail because there's a city ordinance which says that a Negro has to give up his or her seat if a white person wants it. That's the law? But it was Rosa's seat first! But until that law is changed, no man, woman, or child of color is going to ride the bus in Montgomery. It's called a boycott. Reverend King, 